The other part to the ovary is something that people don't pay much attention to. It's something called ovarian reserve. Basically, this refers to what's the reproductive potential of the ovary. When we're born, we're born with as many eggs as we're ever going to have in our life, and that number's probably about one to two million. By the time we hit puberty, that number's fallen to about 400, thousand or so. By the time we hit 37, that number's down to 25,000. So there's an exponential drop as we get older. So it becomes more and more difficult to actually get pregnant. Both the quality and the quantity of eggs in the ovary decreases. So there's, there's evaluation that we can perform for this. Typically it's done in one of two ways. Either it's an ultrasound to assess what's called the antral follicle count, where we literally do a follicle count on day two, three, or four. All the little follicles that are in the ovary contain eggs, and we can count those uh, follicles to actually assess what the reproductive potential of the ovary is. Other potential ways we can assess this is uh, blood tests. Additionally, there's a newer test out called an anti-malarian hormone, or an AMH, and this particular test can be done at any point in the cycle to help assess ovarian reserve.